when I was out the ship a few months back, we saw a bunch of freaks. Damn horde. You think they grouped together like that for a reason? I mean, Hello, Marco. Like hey, I'm uh, new around here. Name's Deacon St. John. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ella Salazar. You just call me Sal. So, uh, this is where I bring bounty ears? Mm-hmm, this is the place. If you have any freaker ears, bring them to me. Got it. Okay, then. Corporal, you take care now. Bye, Sarge. What do you want? You got something to say about it. Hey, D, I got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out here? Actually, yeah. Uh, served with a guy from Long Island. Accent's kind of hard to miss. No shit, right? Let me tell you, man. Before shit went down, I used to run this website called You Need Guns? I Got Guns dot com. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. That's where I've seen you before. You had a, you had a cable show. Uh, my old man used to watch it back in the day. Yeah, your old man had good taste. Goddamn right I did. I used to travel the country hitting up out-of-the-way gun shows, flea markets, shit like that. Ah, I guess this is about as out-of-the-way as it gets. I guess it is at that, huh? Let's see it, Corporal. Hey, you sleep with that gun. Corporal? Right? So, man, I gotta tell you something. Okay. I knew you from before. Well, not personally, you know, but... I'm from Farewell, same as you. And me and my friends, we used to watch you guys around town, the, the mongrels, I mean, riding those hogs, wearing your leathers. Man, we thought you guys were so badass. Right. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, man. Had a lot of free time on my hands. I, uh, I, um, had to drop out of high school, you know. Um, not got my girlfriend, <laughs> had to get a job. Hey, if you ever decide to, you know, start up an MC, mongrels, whatever, just count me in, okay? I'm down. Yeah, don't hold your breath. Sure, man. Yeah, no, just, just saying. Uh, Corporal, see ya. St. John! <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <sighs> Taylor, oh, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that, but I am. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. Highway 97? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. 
Um, but there is this, this group of, of men ended up at the ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? I didn't know that. <sighs> Taylor. It's a sweet ass setup too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh! Visit. We're visitors sent there. That's gotta be it. And now, I just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen, yeah. Well, that's gotta be in the kitchen. Ah, shit. Breakers. <laughs> Had to be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy, could it? That's the last of them. Okay. Now where the hell is the yeast? That did it.
St. John to uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, reporting in. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your requisition form, the yeast. There wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is gonna be fine. So, um, just curious, uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker, out. Okay. St. John! <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <clears throat> Taylor, uh, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that. But I am. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. I went 97. Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Um, but there was this, this group of, of men ended up at the ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? I didn't know that. Taylor. It's a sweet ass setup too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh, shit, I gotta run. They're, they're stopping at another camp. Taylor, out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor, god damn it. Stupid kid's gonna get himself killed. Can of fuel. Oh, here we go. That's it. Yeah, a Nero injector. Let's see if it still works. Mm. This will help me keep my eyes open. Another Nero micro recorder. No. I'm not sure I want to listen to this. Scrap. Good. I 
doesn't look too bad. Another narrow injector. Good. That's a bit of a trick.
Where is it? God damn, this has got to be close. Catch! See if there's a uh, see if there's another injector. Come on, what are you doing? Come on, 
That's all of them. Men coming! All right. One more left. Feels, yes. It's clear. Now you know how it feels being on the other end of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they had a bunker around here. I'll bet they do. Hello, a map. Looks like they marked it up pretty good.
Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. Ready to go back at it. God damn it, fuse blown. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yes. Damn it. That's gonna bring them all down on me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here we go. Yeah, a Nero injector. Let's see if it still works. Coast ain't such a bad idea. At least I haven't seen any freaks who can swim. Well, hope you made it, Marty.
dead coyote lava cave. Huh? Nothing burns so much from every day. I smell it. <sighs> Here's another nest. Let's burn it up. Open up, don't got all day. Damn it. Ma'am? Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. When my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, where to find no, one. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for staying. Yes, ma'am.
Oh, no. Set them over there. Thank you. Corporal St. John, this is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. What can I do for you? St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no. Nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> I'll burn like that? From a wood stove? It's nothing to play around with. You want La Infección? You come see me. That's an order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. Jeep and buying a new one, right? Come on, am I right? Let's see you, Corporal. Hey, you sleep with that gun. St. John. Am I right? This is Captain Curry. Come in. Yeah, Captain. I'm here. Well, I just wanted to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. Now, while these talks are informal, enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Curry out. Oh, great. A commander who likes to give fireside chats. Can't wait. Okay. Corporal, see ya. Move along, buddy, move along. Hey, Doc. Uh... Come in. Siéntese. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East LA patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove did this. Hmm. All right, keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing. When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together. Fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc. Days, dozens of new recruits have joined our ranks. We welcome you. We do not care about the color of your skin. We do not care what country you were born in. We do not care if you are a man or a woman. We do not care if you are gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender. These are things beyond your control. These are things that God has ordained, and we accept them. What we do not accept are liars, thieves, rapists, murderers, fornicators, adulterers, oath breakers, drug addicts, or criminals of any kind from this life or the one before. How you conduct yourself, how you act in the eyes of God, these are things that you do control. Any soldier 
or officer found guilty of any transgression, no matter how small, will be brought here to this very scaffold and will be hanged by the neck until they are dead. This punishment may seem cruel to some of you, but you have my promise. Any punishment of ours is a great mercy compared to the punishment of God that is being unleashed on the world outside these walls. None of us is perfect. We do not expect perfection. What we do expect is obedience, yeah. order, and discipline. Give us these things, and we will win this war. Company dismissed. with Captain Curry. Let him in. St. John, come in. Taylor, take it, St. John. Taylor, haven't heard from you in a while. I was afraid that maybe you'd gotten too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in the friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I'm, I'm at, the, at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got... Oh, shit! No, no, no! Let me go! Hey! No! Taylor? Taylor? Oh, damn it. St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker. Come back. Switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Yeah. Uh... Hey, so I, I looked at that requisition form. It says that you want silicate? Yeah, silicate. I use it as a distilling medium in the column chromatographer. Ah, uh, column chrom... what? <sighs> Sorry, it's just... it's the one part of my research that's actually going well. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh, shit, I thought I marked it on the rack. Hold on. Okay, there's this little general store southwest of us near Mazama Village. You should be able to find it there. Okay, got it. Thank you. Sorry, never mind. <clears throat> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. Sarah, out. Silicate. What the fuck is silicate, anyway? Very good. That's all I got today. Corporal. Goodbye and be safe. Hey, Corporal. What can I get you? Hey, Sarge. So, uh, where are you from, Lucas? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious. Y yeah, fr from Canada, originally. Yeah, I was down here on holiday with the family. Yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know? Uh, w west of Crater Lake? A wife and kids, uh, My boys would have been eight and nine this year. Canada, huh? You're a long way from home. Ah, oh, tell me about it. Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine repair in Calgary, at the Technical Institute. Oh, you ever been? No, no, I guess not. Uh, anyways, the colonel, he, uh, he g gave me this job, so now this is home, yeah? Yeah. Corporal, <laughs> stay safe out there. Now, how's it going? Corporal, uh... What can I get for you? Sergeant. Hang on, I'll open the gate. St. 
Saint John. Oh. Okay. What were you saying? Saint John. Corporal Saint John. Come in. I need you to report to me ASAP. <clears throat> hey, Colonel. Uh, yes, sir. Saint John out. Another Nero recorder. Another Nero injector. Good. Hmm. So let me keep my eyes open. I'm here. Look, I know we have a lot to talk about. Ma'am? This is a private channel. Deke? Okay. I want you to know that I meant what I said about... about you staying and helping. I know this Let's can't be easy for what you. I can do. Being here, like this. Hey, uh, where else am I gonna go? If I leave, they're gonna make me get back this really cool hat, so I'm starting to like this hat. I mean, really. <laughs> I bet. Okay. All right. Now I gotta get back to work. This yeast has already filled up like half a dozen petri dishes. Okay. Save me some of the viral proteins. I got.
Good. Here, another nest. Let's go. Should be able to climb up here. Store. Oh, where the hell is the silicon? Yes. Yes. Okay. I just parked this anywhere. Cut it out. Sarah, are you there? I've um, got the silicate you requested. Corporal St. John, yes, I'm here. I'm in a meeting with Lieutenant Weaver. Corporal St. John? What are you doing another run for me? Uh, 
I don't know. Um... Weaver! Corporal, report in to me when you get back to the island. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Fucking Weaver now. What the fuck is he doing? Hey, Doc. You there? This is Corporal St. John, the Doc Jimenez. Come back. Oh, St. John? How's the arm? Good. Good. Uh, that ointment, or whatever it is that you gave me, it's, um... Yeah, it's working great. I'll be the judge of that. Hey, so I'm actually just checking in to see, uh... Well, to see how well you know Lieutenant Weaver. Lieutenant Weaver? I know him... As well as I know any of the officers. Why? I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm doing some runs for them, for him and Lieutenant Whitaker, and it just, it seems like he's, um, I don't know, he's, he's in her face all the time, and, uh, I don't fucking like it. <laughs> Lieutenant Whitaker can take care of herself. Listen to me, St. John. The Colonel tolerates a certain amount of racing amongst the officers. If I were you, I'd stay out of it. All right, Doc. And don't worry about Lieutenant Weaver. He's no saint, but I've met worse. Him and his help. Weaver, I swear to God. What, are you afraid of a little competition? God, get out! Hey, is there a problem? Ma'am. Just a friendly discussion, Corporal. Lieutenant. What was that all about? <sighs> Nothing, it's just... Weaver, he thinks that the answer to everything is just to burn it all to the ground. God, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Here. No, don't. What now, Deacon? Thank me. Don't thank me. Every time you thank me, I end up outside with another one of your bullshit requisition forms. My bullshit? I, That's what you think this is? I, I, Everything I that I'm doing is just that. bullshit? No! Of course you didn't mean it. You know, I don't understand why you're still here. Well, then let me enlighten you. I spent the last two years killing freaks. One by one, up close, so close that I could smell the flesh rotting between their teeth. So if you're working on something here that's gonna take them all out at once, fuck it, I'm in. But if you don't want me here, you know what? Just give the order, ma'am. Deacon, wait. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, I do need... I just... <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate your help.
Many of you have been with me from the beginning. Listen to me when I warned about the coming of God's plague. Journeyed with me to this place. Helped me to build this ark. But whether you were with us from the beginning, or joined our ranks only today, you are now part of this great endeavor. You are now part of our mission to save mankind. I want to remind you, as you go forth beyond these walls to perform your duties, that we are still searching for material worthy of safekeeping within the Ark. We seek textbooks, manuals, encyclopedia, discs, and other media. Lieutenant Weaver has listed several books on chemistry that are needed. Lieutenant Whitaker has listed books on biochemistry, yeah, yeah, yeah. genetics, yeah. and biology yeah. that we are lacking. Captain Jimenez has listed books on medicine, anatomy, and surgical procedures that we need. Sergeant Tomlinson has listed books on highway construction, mechanical engineering. And Captain Hawkins is always looking for material related to agriculture and hydroponics. So, while you're out doing runs, keep an eye out for items like these. Do your part to help us fill the ark. Company dismissed.